As you shut the gate behind you, a great magical barrier rises up out of nowhere. There will be no going back. Your blood runs cold. Before you is the wraith of Marguerite Dryden. She watches you but does not attack. Welcome back to Let's Play DDO Permadeath. Alright, so there's been a big gap in videos, it's um, been near two weeks since I last played this guy. Hopefully I'll be playing more again now. Uh, but due to that time delay it may take me a minute here to figure out uh, what my weapon sets are and what I'm actually doing on this guy. They seem to be all geared up for this. Blocks your ascent from the side of the rattling of dry bones. I'm getting the feel back here. I should probably go back to the video I made a few sessions ago where I talked about the optimum tactics on this guy. I've forgotten what they are now, of course. Well, I haven't really forgotten. Your path at the top of the stairs. Of the living dead greet you. Yep, okay. Trip's effective against the zombies. Seems my strength is high enough in that once I've got... Uh, uh, bull strength on. Oh, I wish I had some crowd control. Pretty well, just with trip though. We don't have the uh, archers on the ledges anymore to use to get in this quest. Those would be a pain for this guy right now. Although I guess I do have Disrupt Undead, but the damage that does is so low that on elites it takes quite a few shots to kill anything. Uh, another level to go before the shrine. Oh wait, what am I doing? I've got lion hands. Another barrier and the shrieking of ghouls on the frog.
Well, let's have enemies at once. Okay, how are we doing? Gotta remember that I have that uh, Elder Strike. Actually, pretty handy against some of these guys. Someone uh, actually credit someone commented on one of my videos a while back that I wasn't using Eldritch Strike enough. More of them? Seriously? And uh, it is actually somewhat useful. I don't think it's enough damage to really justify the spell points once you've got something like web, but at level 1 it's okay. That sucked. I think I'm up to the level with the shrine now. But I assume I have a fight before I shrine still. I've been a bit too blase with using my lay on hands. And more importantly, I forgot to rebuff when my buffs ran out. That would be why it was sucking so badly. Chokes the air here. Yet another barrier to watch. Okay, there's a lot of enemies at once. Yep, I thought that was going to be the moment I could try and... Not a good moment to have, uh, actually one of the tougher fights start. Well worth running away from that one. I've still only used half my spell points. There's 
So I could certainly afford to use a lot more spell points if I only had the spells to cast them with. Or the spells to use them on, that's what I mean. Alright. Okay, the end fight here is mostly about the uh, Skeleton Mage. I'm not worried about anything else going in here. There is another fight, I think, with more skeletons popping up. Like the one I just did. I think, anyway. But it's the Skeleton Mage that kills people in here, and pretty much only the Skeleton Mage. Despite my efforts to make it look really hard, the this guy just takes a lot of punishment. Ah oh, yes, here we go. Right, that went pretty well. Alright, that's the most dangerous. The enemy's gone. Let's get out of the way of the archers a moment here. Let the uh, skeleton knights come to us. Or not. <laughs> I haven't seen them do that before. Presumably they're going to run all the way to the bottom and then figure out that I'm not down there. That's the second time I tripped the same archer. Whew. They managed to blow my lay on hands there. Oh, I've got a uh, skeleton to select it. Well, I killed him. Hmm, yes. That is the one downside to lay on hands. The fact that you can use it as an offensive spell means you might accidentally hit an enemy with it. As the altar explodes in a fury of holy energy, the back wall slides open to reveal a secret passage, perhaps a way out. <laughs> 